I'm a resident of Jersey, Channel Islands. I love my island, it's a beautiful island, and we'd actually like to have it back from finance. The ordinary person pays tax. Everyone that works, whether it's part time or whatever, they pay tax. And it's wrong when you've got the millionaire standing next to me who doesn't even pay a penny. We all know the financial system has broken. We all know it cannot be fixed. It needs fundamental reform. And as part of that fundamental reform, we are demanding that the financial markets are made much more transparent. We wouldn't have health. We wouldn't have schools. Everybody needs to pay tax. Nobody likes paying tax, but everybody needs to pay it. Let's go to the people. We start. Please move. But on this tour today, we will show that there are banks from around the world that use places like Jersey, not just for tax evasion, but also as a major part of the shadow banking system, which has now been exposed as a, a crucial part, a hidden part of the current financial crisis. I came back to Jersey in 1986 to understand how tax havens work in the global economy. It was clear to development economists like me that capital was moving, huge volumes of capital were disappearing from developing countries into the financial markets of the north. To give you some idea of the scale of this, the best estimate we have for illicit capital flows is between $900 billion every year to $1.06 trillion every year flowing through the banks, the accounting firms, the trusts and the, the funds established in places like Jersey. Close tax havens down globally on the same day and on the same hour and then we might see a different world. We had a tourist industry and we can have one again. And we had a farming, we can have that again. Jersey was here before the finance and will be here after the finance.